Uh, those concerns are real and this is the reason why we need to escalate our response to the war. This is why Ukraine needs more arms, this is why Ukraine needs more uh, financial assistance. We also need to be ready, as we call it, for the winterization. In other words, we need to make sure that Ukrainians have safe and dignified and warm conditions to live in what will, have, what will be a very, very difficult winter with so many millions still um, uh, still internally displaced. Uh, I would also say that this is Ru Russian's play game. This is what he does. He didn't stop before. He will not stop now. He likes to intimidate. He likes to up the ante. So all concerns are real and we need to be able to respond proportionately to those threats. Let's say I am let, very, very happy uh, and I welcome the fact that the, that the European Union has in an unprecedented way shown unity since the 24th of February. If the pandemic showed us something is that where we thought we could not be united we were united and we have been united ever since for the sanctions packages, for the military assistance, for the solidarity help that has been shown to Ukraine. Do we need to do more? Yes. Is there a risk of fragmentation? Let's make sure we don't because that's the only way in order for us to continue to do exactly what Putin does not want us to do which is to fragment. Madam President.